What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this Golgari counters list. Uh, if you missed part one, we're only at a one and two record. Didn't do super well, but we did learn a few things along the way, uh, especially in that game three where we were against a, not a mirror match necessarily, but just kind of a different version of this list. And it was really eye opening as to some possibilities that we might be able to look into. So regardless, I love the list. Let's give this a shot. Um, do I like this hand though? I like the turn one Ozolith. Um, let's give it a shot. I don't. I, I hate that we have two Ozoliths in the the starting hand here. Obviously, that's not ideal. But uh, we do have Grakma as a nice little turn three, um, and we do have the guaranteed third land as well. So that's not bad. We will pass. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying Zendikar Rising. It is a very fun set so far. Um, absolutely loving it. I think what's really nice is they're they're pushing for a bit of a faster format is what it feels like. Everything has to do a lot more with just the board and making such a good board presence that I think that, I don't know, there's something there that really feels nice. Uh, and so I'm very happy with the uh, the set as it's going. Um, and hopefully, like I said, we'll have, uh, we'll have a good standard season. Um, let's do this. Let's get this going. And let's get into attacks. Get in for six damage here. That's pretty significant. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, next turn we can Fable Passage, get two counters on Nissa, assuming that it doesn't die, uh, and then essentially pull the same maneuver where we get to to throw this land at him for six, which is pretty good. Um, this is an interesting. So it's just mono white life gain, I suppose. Sure. That's good. That's very good. So they can get in at Nyssa for two, uh, which is something, but not, like, huge, to be honest. Um, get counter. Whoops. Let's do this. Uh, we will get a black source here. Let's do that. Um, going to plus Nyssa here. We're going to attack him. Hit for six. All right. Uh, let's throw this out. And we pass. Uh, I mean, we're not in great a great position here, but we do have the bigger threat for the time being. I think that's going to change very soon. But uh, this would be a fairly quick game, which is good. Um, oh, that's very good. Yep, that changes things. Um, so the question becomes, can we win next turn? Which I don't think we can. Uh, because the reality is they're probably going to get us the turn after that. Um, ooh, mean. Glass Casket again. Double Glass Casket. That's pretty good. Um, sure. Hit three at us. Yeah. All right. You got it. Um... Well, I think we just die. Uh, let's see. Can we? Nope. Um, yep. Can't do anything. Seriously, we have to do this. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> Decline. Oh, okay. I was about to say like I, that seems terrible. Uh, I am gonna do this. Um, just to get another land out here. But uh, we definitely are just going to lose here pretty quickly. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, here we just die, right? Yep. Well done, opponent. That was a quick game. Uh, that was great. That was an awesome deck. Uh, mono white. Very cool. All right. Let's jump into game two. <sighs> Maybe that's why the computer's going so slow. Uh, I've got creative cloud updating. Um, that takes a while. All right. Let's do it. Game two. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> so what? We are one and three. That feels kind of bad. Um, hopefully we can get one more win. Gilded Goose. Ah, that's fine. It's... This doubled up here is not amazing for us, but it's also not 
terrible either, to be honest. Um, and we can get it out turn like two, which is pretty good. Let's get that going. Um, and I think we are going to try and turbo that Grackma out here. Um, I think that's probably for the best. That's good. Get this out. Just a nice solid threat here. And then um, follow that up with just a shambler, I assume. I like this shambler, but it feels a bit slow. Um, it's a nice enabler, I will say, for quite a lot of things, but it just seems a bit slow. Uh, it's a little bit of built-in protection, though, which is important. Wondering what they could ramp out here. Okay, just a love struck beast. I mean, that's good. It's pretty good, but, um, yep. Hmm. Interesting we could just play this out, but that seems terrible. Uh, let's not do that. Should have played a Greenland, actually. We could have, uh, enabled the Gilded Goose there. That was a mistake, but we learn. All right, so. They're clearly reading some of these new cards, which I think is funny. Um, there's a lot of new awesome stuff though, so I understand. We are in that phase where you're gonna see a lot of, especially on the best of one ladder, you're gonna see a lot of silly stuff and a lot of things that probably don't work, but like seem kind of cool, um, which I love this time in the season because it's just fun. You never know what you're going to find. All right. Opponent playing a bit slow though, I will say. Ah, okay. Kind of just enables us to play another one, so I'm fine with it. Um, I'm going to trade off here. If they've got us on like some weird spell, that's fine, but I didn't think so. Um, let's do this. Let's do another one. Again, just nice built-in protection uh, because you still get a really nice solid creature after the fact regardless. So it's, yeah, it dies, but you still keep the creature. You got to double up on the removal to really do anything about it. Um, and again, this is a great place to be in here. Like, let's get this going. Uh, we are, do we have, yeah, let's get a third black source just so we've got this as an out here. Um, we can play this and kill those two, or we can just play this for five, which I think seems better. Uh, let's attack in here. Let's see what they do. Uh, again, we're playing to the out of Awakening here, so, like, if they decide to trade off, that's fine. If they just decide to, you know, chump block, that's fine. Interesting that they decided to block it all, though, to be honest. Alright, let's get this out. This is just a nice threat against what they're go they've got going on here. And the fact that it has pro multicolor means this is much worse. sure that's not great obviously um i'm gonna kick it and just kind of get rid of this guy as a threat this isn't like a huge threat by any means but it's just something that we don't want to have to deal with um and now we can get in for a lot more damage guaranteed um, and with the Awakening as backup here, I feel fairly confident. Granted, they are a ramp deck, so they could very easily just have something super strong coming down soon, uh, which means we're obviously in bad shape. But uh, I think if they had had something bigger, they would have played it last turn. Sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. Um, didn't expect that. 
So the question just becomes, can we outpace it? Which I think now that we've got this blocker, yes. Because um, that trades with it unless they've got, you know, some another one of these epic proportions or something. But what an interesting card. Um, just didn't see that one coming. That's cool. All right. Okay. That's very good. But again, not enough. Um, although worth noting, we don't just win here. Um, go ahead and activate this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try something here. Let's just see what happens. I think we just die, right? Does this have Dracul? Yeah. That's fine. This is a very interesting place to be. Sorry guys, I am thinking very hard. We may also, uh, I've actually got a time crunch, so I'm going to have to head out here very soon. We may have to stop this one at two games, unfortunately. Um, but I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, yeah. They're really thinking. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be a 15-15. And then they attack with that too. Don't care as much about that at all. Um, 11, 15, right? So we take six, this dies. Hmm. Anissa would guarantee us a win, I believe, right? So we get the 4-4. Four, four. Okay, well, that's not Anissa. Um, so they have to block. This is a very interesting game. Um, okay. We play Gilded Goose. Not super exciting, but it does provide us a little extra block here. And then we pass. Oh, that kills us though, doesn't it? Oh, no, actually, probably not. So we can block for four. That puts us down by five, but then we gain three. And then we win on the swing back, theoretically. Um, yeah, I am going to go ahead and summarize, though, as we finish this up. I uh, So like I said, this is a really fun archetype. I really, really like it, and I certainly um, think that there's a lot of tinkering that can be done with a deck like this. Uh, we are not playing perfectly here, so understand that, you know, this is a, a very good starting point, I think, but not necessarily perfect. I do like the Nissa include, I will say. Um, that feels correct to me, and I think... Um, you know, given the right configuration, we'd be in really good shape. So uh, I do like this deck. I do recommend trying it out. Um, kind of just have to hope they don't have another, like, weird flash spell. Oops. Mitigate as much damage as we can just to, you know, be correct about it. Um, so we take five or down to two. If they have just a shock, they've got us. <laughs> Which is kind of silly, but this is a very good game, though, I will say. I like this. Ah, they got us. All right, fair enough. 
Uh, well, yes, I do really like this deck. I think it's very good. I do recommend playing and tinkering a little bit and seeing what you can do. We only got one win with it uh, out of five games. Again, I apologize for it being a bit shorter, but uh, overall, very, very fun and a very nice deck. So I really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you very soon for another gameplay video. See you guys.